Hello, everyone, and welcome to Petite to Queen's Claim Your Career Crown podcast. I'm your host, Lynn, and today I'm joined by our special guest, Paula Bellingham. And our wonderful content director, Rachel, will be conducting today's interview. Welcome, Paula and Rachel. Hello, everyone, and thank you so much for joining me. I'm Rachel Whitbeck, and I'm the content director of Petite to Queen. Today, I have the honor and privilege of interviewing Dr. Paula Fellingham. We will be discussing how to share your expertise and attract your ideal clients. Dr. Paula is the founder and CEO of Win Win Women. Win Win Women is a global multimedia network and international community of women that combines today's best platforms, television shows, weekly online video shows, radio, social media, a website, an app, live events, an online university, and local groups gathering in circles, all to help 3.9 billion women achieve a level of excellence in every area of their lives in an environment created by women for women. She is the author of eight books, including the internationally popular Believe It, Become It, How to Hurdle Barriers and Excel Like Never, like never Before. Dr. Paula is the recipient of the Points of Light Award given by U.S. President George W. Bush, and she's also the recipient of the President's Volunteer Service Award given by U.S. Presidents Barack Obama and Donald Trump. She was honored as Washington State Young Mother of the Year, Utah State Woman of the Year, and New York City News National Woman of the Year 2021. Paula has written articles for People Magazine, International Business Times, Boston Globe, ABC 11, Worth Magazine, Family Living, Executive Excellence, and many more. Welcome, Dr. Paula. Thank you so much for joining me. Oh, thank you so, so much. I really appreciate that introduction. And Rachel, you know, the, the most important thing in my life, actually, is uh, something that we talked about before we went on the air, that I am <laughs> so blessed to have the be the mother of eight children and the grandmother of 25 grandchildren. So that's an exciting part of my life that I wanted to just to add because it's such a huge part of my life. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> yeah. Number one priority, really. Yes, it is. Absolutely. Thank you. So Dr. Paula, you are a world-renowned thought leader. As such, how do you define influence and reach for women in business? Mm. I love that question. How do I define how a woman can have great influence and impact with her business and personally? And it really starts with, with you. With you as so, so personally and the the business is really an extension of your desires, your dreams. And if you're in business doing something that you really dislike, right at the top of this interview, I'd like to invite you to leave that business, stop that business and do something that sings to your heart. I'm almost 74 and I would not be still in high gear if I wasn't doing what I love. So it starts with your great big why. Until you have something that just you get up on a Tuesday morning and you jump out of bed and you're so excited about doing that thing, that business, sharing that product, sharing that service with others and helping others and having a real meaning, fulfillment, purpose to what you're doing, you won't be able to keep it up long term. I've never seen a woman who could because she'll fizzle out. <laughs> she'll get to the point where she's like, I don't want to do this anymore. And you've probably been there. I've been there many, many, many years ago. And I made the firm decision that I wouldn't be involved in anything that I didn't love. And you might say, but Dr. Paula, you don't understand. You know, I have to do this. Well, you might have to do something temporarily, but you could be starting a business or starting a project that does sing to your heart part-time. And when the money from that equals what you're doing that you don't like, that you dislike, and you let go of that and you do it happily. So how can you be a woman of influence? It starts again with knowing in your heart that you're doing something that really makes a difference in the world, that someone... And that's another thing that I love about waking up and thinking, I love the opportunity I have today to help women, to strengthen them, to serve them, 
to help change their lives in good ways, to impact, to influence them so that never will they be the same as they were before they learned what I can teach them. Or if you, in your case, use that product or, uh, you know, if you're a coach or, you know, that the, they were your client, whatever it is that's that's right for you. So how do you do this? Starting with a why. I care about this because and fill in that black blank. And then I help women or men. I, I've niched to half the planet. And so my default is talking about women. But I'm sure many of you are, you know, you're serving the men and the women, the boys and the girls, whatever it is for you. But to influence them, you first must be a leader. You must be able to have the confidence that you need to be an influencer. If you're unsure about yourself, if you're even down to the body, the posture, if your shoulders are back, your chin is up, you're smiling, you're connecting, then women will and people <laughs> will want to collaborate with you. They'll want to learn from you. They'll want to, they'll want to be around you, be in your circle of influence, and they'll stay with you as long as you are influencing their lives in positive ways. So you see some of the greatest influencer, influencers in history. And Rachel, I love that you're getting a PhD right now and that you are learning about the importance of research. And we must learn. And so we research anyone with any topic, anything you're teaching. You need to find out how can I best influence them because I'm filling their what? Their needs. You're influencing them in a positive way so they can fill in the blank for them. So they can, on the highest level, live their best life. You've heard that a lot. So that they can be successful in business, be a better parent, be a better friend, be a better, and then you just fill in the blank. I am doing this for these people so they can, and then you fill that in, and you put that up beside your computer, you know, next to your mirror when you're, are we talking just to women, <laughs> to putting on your makeup and you have this, you know, and you say, I am. And for me, I am a wife, a mother, a grandmother, a global mentor. I am the woman who can lead a multi-million dollar business so that we can reach 3.9 billion women and change their lives on a cellular level and help them excel in every area of their lives. When you've got that why and that method, that way, the what, the how comes fairly easily. And you say, I'll do it by Educate him this way, creating a course, being a speaker, whatever it is for you, creating a, a product that will help them do this so they can, whatever that is, the benefits follow. Well, this is what I'm sharing, that to be influential, you need to have the confidence. You need to have a big why. You need to figure out the how. And you need to always do what you love so that you can maintain that cheerful, optimistic, loving, kind attitude that will draw people to you and want to learn from you or use your product and service so they can improve their lives. And then the, to the extent that you can do that well and reach out to others, which is what we do on Win Win Women and through marketing, social media, we're not talking about that in this question, but when you are able to do that for the largest number of people, then you will have influenced many. Now I need to, to before we go to the second question, and I'm sure you have ready, Rachel, I wanna mention something. You, to be successful and to leave this life with a legacy that's profound, you might influence just one other person. You don't have to influence millions or billions. If you leave a legacy of love and kindness to your family, it's enough. You are enough. 
So I don't want our viewers to think that you're only successful if you reach millions and billions. Because when your children or those in your circle of influence know that they are loved by you and that you have blessed their lives, then you've left a beautiful legacy. And it doesn't have to be to millions. It could be to a small, small group. And that could be simply, not simply, it could be for your your smallest circle of family and friends. So I just want to let you know that that influence, that impact word can works throughout your whole life to any group of people whose lives touch yours. Thank you, Dr. Paula. That's a brilliant uh, caveat that you offered there. It's really important to remember. Yes. Thank um, you. Honestly, the whole answer was I got a little brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So with Win Win Women, your show hosts are the um, the experts sharing their expertise, lack of better word, expertise yeah. which is the point of this uh, question. Yeah. So why is the perception of expertise so crucial for long, long-term success, in this case, in business? Because we, how do you become an expert? Well, you're doing it right now as you are getting your PhD. You come become an expert by sacrificing your time to become an expert. And there are many ways to do that, not all through education like you are, but certainly through experience. And once you have achieved the level of knowledge, of wisdom, of expertise, that you can say unequivocally, I am an expert because I have learned so much about this topic and I have put my learning, my education, into practical application and I know the things that I teach work absolutely no when you can say that with confidence and you're an expert how does that make the people feel they want to learn from you they haven't struggled and taken the time and sacrificed and become an expert on whatever it is probably probably and so they come to you so the perception of an expert is really my goodness as a show host, all of our show hosts are experts, every one of them, or they wouldn't be a show host. They apply, they don't automatically become show hosts. They have to prove their expertise and they have to be experts to be able to, uh, you know, take the mic, <laughs> to be able to say, yes, once a week, I am going to teach you. And then at the 30 minute mark in these one hour slots that our show hosts have, we turn off the recording. And the beautiful thing is that that last half hour, anyone who is there is able to ask a question of the expert in real time and for free. And there's never been a network that's offered this. And that's why we're so excited. Now, this happens on the website. Of course, when our women qualify, our shows qualify to have their shows on Roku, Amazon Fire, and Apple TV, then, I mean, that's a... a TV, net, those are TV networks, right? You can't turn off the recording and then make it live. So it's it's uh, it, it's limited that way. But what's the reach? Millions and millions of people then will be able to hear your messages as a, as a show host on Win Win Women. And if there are any viewers who are saying, oh, I need to know about this, they can simply go to winwinwomen.com and right up there in the menu, it says, become a show host and click on it and you'll read all about the, the beautiful benefits of being a show host and sharing your message and making money doing what you love. Yeah. Yes. And of course, having that expertise, um, you're able to exude that expertise, which inspires the confidence of people to come yes. and learn from you through Win Win Women or in any other medium. Yes, um, on the stages, we put on all these events, so many events, and I'm so excited to tell you that we'll be putting on almost 200 events in 2023, because each one of our current show hosts will then be putting on one event, and I'd love to just pause and let you know about this. So our events are actually four types. 
a gathering and that's women up to 20 where they might be in a you know a restaurant extra room and just gather and eat and share and and have that be their gathering event for win win women where where they share their hearts and and collaborate with each other because we're all about caring connecting and collaborating the second type of event so those are called gatherings our second type of event is up to 100 women. Those are called celebrations. And those are wonderful events where we, again, uh, mix the, the speaking, the, the education with the fun entertainment, with the networking that we love to do at our events. And so the third type of event, so these are all put on by our shows. And we guide them and teach them every step of the way how to do this and give them all the templates, everything they need. And then the third type of event that a show host would put on is called a summit. So win-win women summits. Then, and that's 100 or more. So then our global, uh, excuse me, our corporate events, the ones that we as a corporation, the headquarters put on are called win-win women, global women's summits. So these are global women's summits and we'll be putting those on all over the world this next year and then beyond. And as we... Um, increase the number of show hosts will increase the number of events and our goal is 50 topics so every topic that a woman would care about we could always scale to more topics and then 24 7 you'd find someone some experts some show hosts talking about each one of the topics simultaneously and that's 8,400 show hosts and then we'll be expanding this and franchising this so that for example india is where we're going for international women's day and we'll be there for nine days and it's so exciting because then all these women and all the events we're going to be putting on there will then have the opportunity to say wow we'd like win-win women india so you see this is the the start of something magnificent and and globally huge as our international community grows and grows yeah yeah oh that sounds amazing i love hearing about all those different levels of um events of events yes yeah, so i was gonna say gatherings yeah. but i know that's the name of one gathering of celebrations <laughs> summits and then global women's summits for the for the corporate yeah exactly and so obviously through win win women you can um the show hosts uh can really have quite an expansive reach oh. um but setting aside Win win women for just a moment. We'll get back to that. Um, how can women quickly and effectively increase their reach um, outside of win win women? And then we'll transition to. You know, I love this question. I love this because um, it's easier than you think. And so many women are like, oh, how do I take my, you know, they, they, they're worried about taking their business global. And I say, it's not that hard. And I'd like to tell you about this right now. So worldwide, and there are 195 nations ratified by the United Nations. There are actually 222 nations, but we go with the 195 that are big enough to be ratified by the UN. And I've done quite a bit of work at the UN. And so these nations, every one of them have women's organizations. They all have experts. They all want to you know, live their best life. They want to be, have a level of excellence in every area of their life. They all want the things that we want to give them and to help them with. And so the beautiful thing is there are women in every nation. So if you said, um, okay, you're in Ireland right now. And, and our viewers, I'd like to let you know that this week, we, sweet Rachel Whitbeck is in Ireland as we speak. It's so exciting. I'm in the state of Utah in the U.S. I grew up in Los Angeles, but I'm here in this beautiful state now. So if, if, oh, let me just tell you how I did it. And this is decades ago. <laughs> and I, I kind of like saying that. Um, so to be able to say, you know, for example, and I've done this, I've, I've co-presented over 400 live events and this is BC before COVID, uh, in 152 <laughs> nations. Now, I did not travel to 152. I've been to 42, but I have put on events there in collaboration with the women there. So let me tell you about, okay, let's just take an event I did in Belém, Brazil. And I, I 
I went there. <laughs> I was one that we had 600 women. We had a huge stage. We had a two day event. We had three meals each one of the days. This is not what you have to do. But this particular one, that's what we did. Every single event is different. Even the ones I put in Australia, put on in Australia, my event in Perth, which is on the West Coast, way different than the one that I put on in Sydney. Why? Because the women with whom I'm collaborating, they have their ideas and we're flexible. We give them the agenda. We give them the speakers. We give them everything they need. But if they say, we'd, we'd like to do this, 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 and it changes by the nation. But here's what I did. So Belém, Brazil. So then I, I, I reached, I, you research and you find out who, who are the women who are leading organizations in that area and with whom you think you know most align with what you believe and your mission and then you find their contact information which you can do and you send them a beautiful email that says i am coming to belém brazil now you could go anywhere where do you want to go you want to go to singapore singapore you'd send the same letter and you'd say i am coming to Singapore, Singapore, as part of my organization is this, and you use your organization. And if you say, I don't have an organization, then align with someone who has it, be a part of win-win women, <laughs> you could do that. And then sometimes I use my nonprofit, and, and I'd like to talk about that later, but it, it really is smart to have a for-profit and a nonprofit. I could explain that later, but sometimes I'll say, um, I'll say, whatever the for-profit is, or I'll say the Global Prosperity and Peace Initiative, that's my nonprofit, is coming. We are coming to put on an event in, what did I say? Belém, Brazil is my example. In Belém, we're coming there. <coughs> and I have everything we need. I'll bring the speakers. I'll do this. I'll do this. I'll do this. And I'd like to collaborate with you. And you just need to do two things. You'd need to find a venue, and I know how all these events I'm talking about, they're free venues. I know how to do that. And then we need, I, we need your help filling them. Well, if she has the venue and she fills the venue and we bring the speakers or just you, and then you always could get speakers. Whenever I even put out that I've got an event, I get like 800 emails. Let me speak at your event. There are so many speakers that you never have trouble finding the speakers either who will go there or who are already there. They have their organizations. They have bright women. They have articulate women. They have leaders everywhere you go. And then you reach out to them and say, especially like I said, we're putting on a global women's summit in Belém, Brazil. And then we hooked up with a governor's daughter. And then we hooked up with her because the woman with whom I collaborated, she had all these connections. So then she reached out and we had 600 women at that event. And I got off the plane, just me, and then was able to, but I had relationships with all these people because why? Because of this, because we <laughs> we're connecting right now. Because Zoom has made it so easy and everybody, thank you, COVID, knows how to use Zoom. Now, before Zoom, before COVID is when I did these. So what did I have? I still had ways to connect with them. I had my phone. I had my WhatsApp. You know, WhatsApp is an international uh, platform. There are ways to connect with people if your desire is great enough. And now it's so easy. But before Google, so BG, then we were able to then still connect. And when, if I said to you right now today, Heather, let me use you. If I said, Heather, I'm coming to Ireland. I'm going to put on a global women's summit in Ireland. Would you like to collaborate with me? Yes. If you are associated with any women's organization or anything that is trying to promote where or if you're a speaker or you're a coach you're going to want to do this so what i'm saying to you is is do this decide where you want to expand reach out to you whoever that is i try to find dr paula fellingham's women who are kind of like me and i don't know them but i reach out to them because i've learned about them and then i reach out and i invite them to collaborate and that's why we're all about caring 
connecting and then collaborating. And you can, anybody can do this. Anybody can do this. And you can put on events all over the world. You could speak at my events when your shows. You could, I mean, it's just nothing would stop you except your fear and your lack of confidence and your lack of belief in yourself. And I'm hoping that you can release those things from your life so that you feel like, yes, I can take my business globally. And then you go ahead and do it. Yeah. Amazing. The power of connection. Yes. It really can really take you yes. literally anywhere in the world. <laughs> anywhere. Anywhere. So Dr. Paula, yes. you've explained how people can increase their reach without win win women. But how does win win women provide the support tools and platform for their show hosts to attract their ideal clients and increase their influence? Ah, thank you. <laughs> this is fun. And I've talked about it a little bit already. And I want to start with this uh, to answer that question. Right now, Rachel, there is a rising and an awakening of the women of the world that's more fast moving and far reaching than anything that's ever happened in history. And so as I've been out in the world, knowing this, feeling it, seeing it, watching it, being part of it, because truly Win Win Women is a leader in the advancement for women worldwide. And again, those who are watching, go ahead and state things like that for you. I am the, and then because as you believe it, you become it. That's the name of my fifth book. <laughs> that was you told, believe it, become it. And what we are, what I'm watching is that more and more women are being educated. So think of it as like um, Abraham Maslow's hierarchy of needs, right? So if we take those off and we put it at the bottom and we say, okay, women are now going from survival mode because they have, they're more and more being educated and they're moving from survival mode up to self-development, up to self-mastery, which we're always all working on, me included, and up to where we all want to live is selfless service. So on that climb, everyone needs mentors. You need a coach. You need someone to help you. Or you need a guide. And as I was thinking about how can I, how can I do this after so many years of, of being out in the world and teaching and, and, you know, I, I just felt Rachel, like I, there was a, like a little dropper full of water that I was just like dripping into this ocean of need that the women of the world have. And I was doing this little tiny bit. And I thought, it's not about you, Paula. It's not about you at all. It's about finding these experts all over the world, giving them platforms and then allowing them to share their expertise, their messages with an audience of women. And here's the thing where we're not there yet. Simultaneous translation. So when I'm speaking in English, somebody can click Arabic or a woman in Bahrain. I love that city, which is right outside of Saudi Arabia or Dubai or anyone. I also started the Women of the Middle East Network in, in, in Israel. But no matter who is talking in whatever language, I can click English. I'll have to read it, but I can read and watch her energy and feel of her spirit, right? While I'm reading it in English when she's speaking in Arabic. Now, this exists already in very crudimentary forms, just rudimentary forms, just um, they're not very good. <laughs> and so that is one of our things that we want to offer to our show hosts. So let me back up. So knowing that we are looking for experts in all these areas to be able to share their message with millions, what we do is we give them every single thing they need to be able to do that. We give them platforms, the website, um, when they're qualified, Roku, Amazon Fire, Apple TV. We give them all these events that we've been talking about. We give them, uh, in a minute and a half, the app 
we give them so many opportunities to be able to sell their products on their website, use their show episodes. So every week they do an episode, they film an episode, right? We talked about, and they can put it on their YouTube channel. They can put it on their website. They multi-purpose it. In fact, your aunt, our wonderful, one of our show hosts, Lynn Whitbeck, who has Get More Clients, she's got this fabulous show. And she's able, she she did a training on how to multi-purpose your show, your episodes. So that leads me to segues perfectly into that we have a resource area called the show host training and support area where they have every training they need on how to become a show host, how to improve as a show host, how to speak right to the to the the camera, how to have good lighting, how to speak with enthusiasm, how to keep the pacing up. We teach them, we train them. So any woman who is an expert in her field who says I'm a whatever that expertise is, even if she is not ready to host a show, we train her until she is ready to be able to be the host of her own show. And so we give her countless resources, the so many templates for putting on events and everything really that uh, an expert would need to share her message with millions and make money five ways. (laughs) Yeah, we help her make money. We like the money. We like the money. Um, It's a tool. It is a very powerful tool. Um, That sounds absolutely brilliant, Paula, or Dr. Paula. Now, before we um, close out, you did mention earlier that you wanted to get back to your nonprofit. So I just wanted to give you a moment to tell us a little bit about that. Thank you so much, honey. So what I love is the opportunity that anyone has to either join a nonprofit and be able to use that, and I'll explain how, or start a nonprofit. And you can start a nonprofit, and it does take a little time, but you know, if if that's what you want to do, go do it. But the reason that I mention it is because, here's an example, because of, I should finish that sentence here, because of the many ways that you can, uh, that a nonprofit can bless people's lives, especially when it is connected with a for-profit. So let me explain. So when we put on our corporate events, and when we help our show hosts put on their events, we guide them, It's a win-win women event powered by Women of Excellence, Women of Faith, which is a project of our Global Prosperity and Peace Initiative. Sometimes I use, for example, in India, I talk a lot about peace because that nation cares so much about that. And that's on the, the tip of their tongues a lot is promoting peace. And so we use the Global Prosperity and Peace. So what happens when you put on an event is that you can have vendors and you know people who have their their products and services at the back of the room you can make money that way as a show host who is putting on that event and anyone who wants to to donate to the nonprofit either yours or ours and if you do this independent of win win women of course then you've got the ability to have somebody say i want to be a sponsor of your event i'll give you x number of of dollars or rupees or whatever <laughs> currency pounds, uh, and I'll I'll contribute monetarily financially to your event, and in part because they want to write it off. And yes, many nations, not just the U.S., have taxes that then if you contribute to a nonprofit, then you can write it off, not pay taxes on that amount, right? So in India. Every 2% of all the profits, net income from the largest organizations, not the little ones, but the big organizations, not organizations, corporations. So the big, big businesses throughout India, 2% mandatory by the government must be given to a nonprofit. So if you're going to India and you don't have a nonprofit, why would you do that? Because, you know, they could say, well, I'll I'll take this 2%. But here's what happens. As many do, you have a business and then you start your own foundation. You can give money to your foundation and then use that to do good, right? And so why would you not be able to say a portion of everything we do at 
fill in the business name, goes to, and then fill in what you do with a nonprofit. And you'll have, you'll, it'll bless your life. So at Win Win Women, we tithe 10% goes to the nonprofit, which then educates women worldwide and helps those who can't, ha actually can't. We also have a scholarship fund for those who can't afford to, because there is a price to become a show host. And then we scholarship in some of our shows. So the pluses, the pros are many for creating a nonprofit or connecting with someone who has a nonprofit and says, can I be part of yours? And then you work out that collaboration. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Thank you so much, Dr. Paula, for speaking with me today. Um, and thank you, everyone, for watching today's interview with the wonderful Dr. Paula <laughs> Fellingham. What could be more exciting than bringing your expertise to life using the power of power of global platforms, including Apple TV, Roku, and Amazon Fire. From yes. generating sales leads, increasing your personal brand value, and providing tons of content and shareable sound bites to joining a community of women who are cheering you on every step of the way, this is an opportunity you don't want to miss. Learn more about becoming a show host on Win Win Women Today, and the link is just one click away. You'll find it above or below, depending on where you're watching this. <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. What an informative discussion between Rachel and Paula. If you have any ideas you'd like to share, please leave us a note in the comment section. We'd love to hear your thoughts. And if you have a question or would like to suggest topics for discussion, please email us at jointheconversation at petitetoqueen.com. And to stay current on all of our insightful advice, breakthrough advantages, amazing episodes like the one today, please sign up for our weekly wisdoms at petitetoqueen.com. Make sure you don't miss a single episode by subscribing to Claim Your Career Crown wherever you get your podcasts. And while we're on the subject, if you love what we're doing and you love the show, please take that extra second and leave us a five-star review, we would very much appreciate it. Thank you so much for listening.